Now I'm coming down to do what's called the diaphragm releases. And the diaphragm releases, what it is, is there's a, a band of very tendinous uh, tissue that runs around the body like the uh, a, a thing on the barrel, a, a whiskey barrel, and the, the little rims that go around the whiskey barrel is like these bands on the body. And they get, they get tight and they pull in and they're also attached back to the different spinal area where the dural tube is. So the next thing that we want to do, at least the way that I work it, is after I check the rhythm, then I'll go under to open up the diaphragms, and there's a method to this. And I do this by placing one hand underneath the body, and I'm right on her, uh, right on the two uh, hip bones, and the sacrum is in the middle of the hand and the other hand goes on top of the body. Now, what I do here is I meld into the body until I feel the tissue in my hand, and then I back out a little bit physically, and I set a little more energy in. All of that stuff of the working with the subtle anatomy and working with the energetics of the subtle anat anatomy will be something taught later on. But what I do then is, what you want to do is you want to wait until you feel kind of a, a stirring, a little softening of the tissue, a little movement, maybe little circles, maybe little um, patterns that, that it's making. It's all softening and it's all relaxing down. This also is a really good place to start if you're just going to work some other kind of modality on somebody, this is a really great way to relax them. People get real relaxed when they're starting to feel that release in the sacral area through this, these bands. And it softens out, opens up the dural tube. The next space that it goes is right down there, about T12, T11, T12, and then right across the diaphragm. The uh, location of those vertebrae is also an attachment for one of the big long hip muscles. So that is also able to relax out a little. And again, you wait for the softening to happen. It's only a softening and you don't go any deeper than five grams. Sometimes it takes a while. Marissa's had a lot of work done. She does a lot of her own self work, so her body responds quickly to it, which is a good thing. Moving up to the thoracic outlet, which is the clavicles. I, the panda will be placed across the clavicles and a little bit on the upper rib. The back hand is going to go underneath the, the back, and it's going to be between the shoulder blades. So you're going to have your hand long between the shoulder blades while the top hand goes here. One of the things that you're going to notice when you do that is you're going to notice how much some people's backs are rounded between the shoulder blades. And that's one thing that we want to work with, not to round too much as we grow older. It collapses down into the lungs and just kind of folds us together. Now you saw that little bit of a breath, perhaps, of her. Um, she kind of exhaled bigger. She had a breath, and that was a release. So when you do this work, you want to pay very close attention to these little signs that the body will give. So once that's softened, then you can remove your hand gently and then the neck you go to the neck the bottom hand finger is right along the edge of the of the um, occiput the skull bone and then the other two fingers are very gently placed on the hyoid bone which is right on either side of the, uh, the trachea and under the jaw and you want to wait there you don't want to squeeze too tight you just want to hold it and again you're going to feel some movement and that's just to release that diaphragm. 
and it feels sometimes you can really feel the muscles relaxing they kind of jump around it's kind of a gliding feeling it's gentle 